Hello everyone, I'm Erica. And I'm Akila. Welcome, Welcome to Heart Chat. Okay, so we're back with a new series. This Woo! is um, Hashtag April Showers. So, our first episode is about, well, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> that's, yes. what, that's basically what we're going to talk about today. So, before we get into that, let's go in our check-ins. Anything going on? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, same old same, new yeah. month. Time to... New month. New month, April. It's a good month. It's a good month <laughs> for some of us. Yes, it's my birthday month. <laughs> so... I'm excited <laughs> to see what April always, always something in April. Something, always something. Because my best friend's birthday is in April too, and um, we usually do something together, so it's always like something goes down in April. <laughs> so, but this year is different because um, she's getting married. So, so maybe it will have to be pushed off too. Yes. We talked about doing something later, but yeah. you never know. I actually think I will see her. This month. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I will, actually. And shout out to Iffy, too. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah, thank shout out to Iffy. Thank you for all your help. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Always looking out. Exactly. So, um, I yeah. guess that was my check-in right no there. Worries. So <laughs> April. <laughs> we will get into our topic. So, there's a saying, when it rains, it pours. And sometimes personal always go there yeah it always yeah when i hear when it rains it pours i always assume it's like bad like you know when it rains it pours like when it's raining it's a bad thing and then like it's one bad thing and then uh, everything bad happens yeah, yeah. that's how i associate it yeah so the other day i told my mom about um some good news that i had and she was like when it rains it pours like you get yeah you know you she was like you know that way no and i was like oh i guess i guess you get a good thing and then you get more good things and when you think about it, rain is really good. Yeah, you yeah, think about especially it. when people are when states are in droughts or pl- like places yeah. are in droughts, like it's a good thing. Yeah, because we need the rain for the grass and the plants and all that stuff. So we just don't personally like to be out in it. I like it when it rains, especially if I don't have anywhere to go. And mm-hmm. I can just like stay home and cuddle up and do what I want to do. Yeah, like, watch that's my the movies. Best time. Yeah, yeah, I like that. But anyways, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about, but just to, to say that was. I never thought about it that way. I never did either. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah. But that was before we had this. Yeah, all. exactly. That's exactly. Yeah. So we're talking about when it rains, it pours, and like one bad thing happens after that, after, after another, you know, they're all just coming in on you. Yes. So, like we say, when it, April showers. Yes. We need the rain because it's good. It brings May flowers. Yes. <laughs> so that's kind of what we were, we were thinking about because... When it rains, it pours. Yes, there may be all these bad things going on. It's too much. You may feel overwhelmed. But it's a, it's the lesson. Yes. Usually, like, something, in some way, something good comes out of it. Yes. Um, whether it's you have all these things and you find that you found strength to yeah. get through it all. Or growth. Get or it? growth. Because it rains. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes things grow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you, you 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 are able to deal with it or, you know, cope with it in a way that you might not have thought you could. Mm-hmm. And then for the next time, it, no matter what's going on, whether it's something big or little, you are prepared. Mm-hmm. Right. So I think you hear so many times people say, I was going through the storm and, yeah. you know, now I'm here or I'm going through the storm, but I can see the light. I think that's so powerful because when you do go through things, it does make you stronger. Yes. You know, and you learn. And if you don't go through things, it's, you don't, you can't, you can't learn hard lessons. Uh, A friend of mine actually, speaking on this topic, you know, had a status about failure. Mm -hmm. And I was like, 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 because it is important to fail. Yes. No matter how ridiculous that may sound, mm-hmm. it's extremely important to fail um, because you grow from it. Mm-hmm. Um, because you're able to, you know, stretch yourself. Because mm-hmm. think about somebody who's never failed. Yeah. Whoever that may be in your mind. Think about that person. There's probably been a time recently or in the past few years where they failed and they just broke. Like they, they lost it. They lost it. Mm-hmm. Like... 
this is why it's important. <laughs> this is important mm-hmm. because you can be a grown adult, never having failed or experienced anything bad in your life, and you have one thing because it's going to happen. Like mm-hmm. something's going to happen, and and it could be a, something little. Yeah, and that, it doesn't these major things. You're a grown adult and you break down mm-hmm. because of this. I know um, for me, but growing up, I used to just like fixate on every little failure, every little thing I couldn't do or accomplish mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And then I got to a point where, you know, me, I had my two younger sisters. And I was like, well, it helped them, you yes. know, to be like, well, if, if it happens to them, like, okay, what happened to me too? You know, it, it's okay. It's not like the end of the world. Yes. Or you learn how to navigate through things so then you can tell the next person and maybe they won't have to go through that because they can kind of follow what, what you did or your advice. Not exactly. doing the same thing. So look at it that way. I like that, yeah, because you're able to teach people now mm-hmm. how you went through it. Yeah, and it gives people hope, too. Exactly. You know? That was... Oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I was like, that was, that was me the first year of college. Mm-hmm. Like, the whole not failing, you know. All through, like, grade school, all that. All I got, A's and B's, A's and B's, mm-hmm. all of that. So, like, getting to college and getting my first C was devastating. Yeah. Like, this is, like, the my, most <laughs> minute thing. Like, like it's not even that big of I a know. deal. It's really not that big a deal. But, again, harping on the, you know, that thing of not failing. And mm-hmm. when you do, I was just like, what? This can't be right. This is not right. <laughs> like, what am I? What, who am I? <laughs> Yeah, but like looking back, like it's ridiculous. But mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's a real true thing, and you know it's it's important for us to go through these things to help, like you said, show hope for people mm-hmm. um, that you can get through it. Yeah, and you're not alone in these situations. Exactly. So I think it's important to like we talk about have supportive people around that you can go to when you fail and talk to them. I'm quite sure they will have experience, you know, where they felt too, and that's another reason when it comes in it's come you can comfort someone else because of your yes. experience so um yeah I, I do agree I think it's definitely important it's a part of life and yes. I think it's a part of growing up very true I agree so I, I think forgot. that's it <laughs> I think that's it so I like to say okay when it rains of course I'll be all these things coming in one after the other yeah. but if you've been through something before you can it and say okay well I know how to get through this it's going to be okay and that will really help you get through it yes you know and if it's your first time going through like it rains it pours you're going to experience so much growth at yes, the end of it. end of it so just keep in mind you know that there is a light at the end it does get better and I can sit here and say I've been through it <laughs> you know what yes and if I think it really helps if you know that in advance if you know that every test as a testimony, you know, yes. if, if you know that, and if there's other people around that can attest to that, I think that helps, helps. you to go through it with more grace. Mm-hmm. Not that you're so negative and down, because with a lot of things going on, the more negative you are about it, the harder of a time It'll you're going to have, yeah. and before you see that light. So just know, embrace it. This is a part of your life. You know, that's what it is. And Yeah, I think the important part of what you're, you're saying, Erica, is, you know, to not dwell on the negative. Mm-hmm. You're going to get angry. You're going to get mad. You're going to get upset. But you have that little period of time that you do it, but you're not doing dwelling on that mm-hmm. every single day because that's where the trouble will set in. Yep. only keeps you there. Exactly. And you won't be open to that lesson and that growth. Exactly. So you don't want to say, um, say yourself short. I agree. Okay. Right. So catch us next time with another hashtag April Showers uh, episode. Thank you so much for listening to Harsh Chat today, where we speak from the heart. We hope that you enjoyed our show. Catch us every Sunday and Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our YouTube channel and on our website, which is HarshChatRadioShow.com. Be sure to follow us on our social media pages at Harsh Chat Radio on Instagram and at Harsh Chat on Twitter, Facebook, and Periscope. We love to hear from you. If you have any comments or questions or topics that you want to hear about, you can email us at heartschat at heartschatradioshow.com. And for all of your personal relationship questions, please visit my blog from ericasheart.com. Thank you for listening to Hearts Chat, where we speak from the heart.
Oh, my God. 